This is how to build a cold frame for less than 20 bucks. I'm germinating bell peppers and zucchini when out time temp outside temperatures are below 30 degrees at nighttime often and rarely above 60 during the day. Let me pull this thing off and I'll show you how it goes. So design works like this. Two wires on the front held together with tensioners that can be tightened as needed. Two wires on the back held together with tensioners as needed. Both outlined in a rectangular shape with T-posts to support the wires. This is three mil plastic. You can use greenhouse plastic. It's $9 in a roll. I still have the whole rest of the roll for painting projects and whatnot. Assorted plastic containers. The milk jugs are kind of important to help hold thermal mass um, during the nighttime temperatures. The one little uh, water bath germination chamber you see there, the plastic tub, it does have a 25 watt aquarium heater in it that holds that water. That's because I'm germinating bell peppers in there. Those are clear, like a salad type container, box salad. You can get them for, I mean, you can buy, eat the salad and then uh, use them in there. I'm germinating uh, squash and also some bell peppers in there. They just don't germinate as fast as with the water bath. The back, I got some leftover black um, plastic that covered a roll up mattress in, and I just used that, but you could use landscape fabric or panda film or black landscape cloth or black black plastic anything like that uh, underneath the one part of it I have I do have some rigid foam insulation to help with the thermal leak through to the soil but over here I'm just using um, it's a windshield cover from a vehicle that we no longer own um, it has a little bit of reflective properties and a little bit of insulation to just help with that heat running out the bottom and then here's how you close the cold frame up. And I will show you, I didn't have it clipped before, but I'll show you how you can clip it. So you just grasp the plastic and it's uh, looped underneath that bottom front wire. And you're gonna just put it over and then clip it. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so once it's tossed over here, I'm just gonna take some binder clips. You can buy them at any office supply store. You probably got them laying around. You could probably use clothespins, but the binder clips are stronger. You're just going to clip front and back, and I'll do that and show you what it looks like when it's done. And that's what it looks like clipped up. You can add more tension if you want it to be firm or if you're expecting a rain, but there's a cold frame. DIY, easy to do, 10 or 20 bucks worth of materials, maybe less if you have some of this stuff laying around like I did.